If someone told me I could get 100,000 views on my YouTube video and it would only cost me 7 years of my life spent in prison eating gruel off of the floor, I'd say sign me the fuck up baby. What a deal. Prison is temporary. Clout is forever. And so is a criminal record I suppose, but it doesn't matter because internet updutes are all that really matter these days. This dream came true for a YouTube couple named Saucy and Honey. They were recently arrested and charged with third degree criminal trespassing and conspiracy and could face up to seven years in the slammer. All for those sweet, juicy YouTube views. They pulled off the most epic prank this world's ever seen and the history books will remember them for it. They'll be talked about like Jesus Christ was in the Bible. The saviors of high quality YouTube content. They uh, did a 24 hours in Target challenge or prank. You know that trend that every 16 year old was doing on YouTube back in 2017? Yeah, they did that like four days ago. I don't know why they chose this prank. It died like five years ago. They're very tardy to the party, but they seem to desperately try and suckle any amount of dust they can out of the dry titties of this garbage ass trend from a time long since forgotten. And it, they're paying the price for it. They got fucked in the ass. But you can't help but feel bad for them because they ha clearly have a disease. It's called terminal clout hunger. And unfortunately, it's a plague. And it's been spreading for quite some time on the internet now. Shut up, Get okay, what's up, Fascination Fire? And your girl, honey, and we're back my baby! Okay, you guys, sorry we're rushing through this intro, but yes. it's 9.37 at... Oh. Okay, you guys, sorry we're rushing through this intro. It's 9.37. It's 9.37 at night. Honestly, they should have slapped on an additional criminal charge for how dog shit their videos are. I swear to God, it's got to be a human rights violation to have an intro this annoying. All of their videos start like this. It is painful. Sticking my head in a fucking dump truck while it's compacting garbage would be less miserable. A YouTube couple is in hot water over this video in which they claim to have spent the night in a Pennsylvania Target. You guys do not attempt what we attempt at home. We are entertainers. Listen here, goofballs. Don't try what we're about to do at home, you dumb assholes. We're professional entertainers willing to risk life and limb for your entertainment immediately gets arrested and faces seven years in jail for this shit. I don't know what she was thinking. This isn't exactly like a defense, right? It's still a crime no matter what. Just because you consider yourself an entertainer doesn't mean that you're all of a sudden immune to repercussions of a crime. This is like if a birthday party clown robbed a bank and when they caught him red-handed, he just honked his nose. Honk, honk. Oh God, he's an entertainer. Never mind, guys. It's all good now. It's We, we made a mistake here. I don't understand why more people don't know this, but I'll go ahead and peel back the curtain. Most of those YouTube pranksters are fake. In fact, I'd say 95%. So all of the ones that did the overnight challenges, they cleared it with their local store in order to ensure that they were allowed to do it. And they didn't actually even spend 24 hours in the facilities they said they did. They just stay for long enough to get footage and then leave. But all of it was cleared beforehand with the franchise owner. Surveillance video from inside the store shows them wandering around various sections while recording video of themselves. While LaRose and Fisher told viewers that they spent the night in Target, police say they left through an emergency exit around 3 a.m. and tripped the alarm. But the couple returned to the store when it opened to the public to resume recording their video. Yeah, what? They lied? They didn't actually spend 24 hours in the Target? What the fuck? That's got to be the worst offense of all. You know, I could excuse the criminal trespassing and all that. I could even excuse the abominable intro to their videos. But the fact that you're going to come in here and tell me you spent 24 hours in Target when you only spent like, what? Two and a half? Oh my god. I spit on that absolute garbage. They could have at least had the courtesy to spend the whole night there. Because at that point, now not only do you go down looking like a stupid asshole, but now you go down as a stupid lying asshole as well. And their audience of like, I don't know, lobotomized 12 year olds or whatever is watching it. They now know that they can't trust anything they do going forward. So even if they somehow do escape the prison time, which I imagine they will, I don't think they're actually going to spend seven years in jail. They've lost the trust of their audience now. 
The couple was released on a $25,000 unsecured bond, and they're due back in court March 24th. Fisher told a reporter outside of court that she has no regrets, that they were living their life and having fun. But the couple said they would not be doing another stunt like this again. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Mara Montalbano. I can't imagine that statement's going to help them very much in the court proceedings. Yeah, I have no regrets about committing the crime. Surely that won't come back to haunt them. But yeah, anyway, just thought the story was kind of wild and another prime example of the attention-seeking disease a lot of people are afflicted with. That's about it. See ya.